job, ladies. Thank you. Good job, Holly. Thank Thanks, you. Good. It's at the end of the competition day, and things are winding down, and I'm just wondering what it is that Abby's going to say to me. I know that she's mad at me for pulling their cellos. God only knows what's going to come out of her mouth. Maddie and Brooke, go with Gia to get your stuff washed off. I look over at Kelly, and I can tell that brain is just tick, tick, ticking. I mean, for once, it's actually working. She's trying to come up with some excuse, some reason for her kids not to perform their solos. But you know what? I've had it. It's time to call her out and let her know who's boss. I'm disappointed that my kids didn't get to do their solos today, but I'm glad they did the group. I thought it turned out good. I think they would have done fabulous. But we'll never know. No, we won't. I saw them in their costumes. They were they were here, ready to go. Everybody else ran theirs 10 times and had an extra day of practice on it. That's not fair. My daughter is not going to go on stage and forget her dance again and look like an ass because you made her feel flustered. You didn't have time to run your dance? What is this run your dance crap? If you don't know it by the time you get to the venue, you're not going to know it. What else do you want me to do? I was ready. I was here to play ball. I tell you to put stoppers on a chair and paint it black. Put stoppers on a chair and paint it black. Don't blame me and pass the buck on to everybody else. You screwed up, like you always do. Quit enabling them. I want kids that want to dance. I want kids that want to be here. And if your kid isn't one of them, cut your losses, break your studio contract, and go. And Kelly, I was the first one at the hospital when your husband ran over your kid's foot. I was in the hospital room hugging your kid. And now you say those things about me, how dare you? Your kid doesn't want to dance. They're lazy and they don't like to lose.